right guys, so it's another shopping Sunday. Sunday shopping? Sunday shopping, I think we decided. And um, new look, it's top of the suggestions, requests, whatever. And so that is where we are. Here we go. Okay, I was not expecting there to be a huge summer clothing sale. It's, I mean, I know it's raining outside as I film this, but it's still only June. Little pretty tea dresses, all in the sale. And then there are some jumpers, which feels a little bit more seasonally appropriate as I film this. Um, but honestly, I've no, I, I was absolutely not expecting to see so many summer clothes, like massive reductions. This is obviously their trend section right now. This is like the vibe they're going for the next season. Are there now like multiple seasons within seasons? Is that what I'm missing? Have we got like, is it now split up into, you know, like spring number one, spring number two. And that's why we're doing like a end of season sale when it's not even the end of the season. I actually quite like that. Um, and I'm gonna be looking for some dresses because I've seen some stuff on Instagram from New Look in the last couple of weeks that look amazing. And hopefully I'll be able to find them because this is a decent size new look in Meadow Hall. I used to buy stuff like this all the time. Like I really, I'm not a massive fan of Riverdale, but I watch it and I like some of the stuff. And now I'd be like, yes, really, really like this. But then I never actually wear it. You see, it sucked into like slogan things and things that had TV shows that I watched all the time. Less so now, oh, hoodies though. I'll never not want to buy more hoodies. So this is the like basic section, like Jersey. I'd like to see more crop tops with ties because it really helps to kind of nip in the little bit at the waist and give a little bit of shape where you haven't got a tremendous amount. Um, I'm kind of finally, after 10 years, getting on board with top shops, eh, top shops, crop tops, but I would like to see more that are not just, like, this is not flattering on me. See, this would have, uh, this would have been coming home with me. I love this kind of thing, like a little throw on, this is really pretty. A little throw on dress for when it is really, really nice outside. I'm going to be doing like a workwear ideas video. These are not entirely appropriate for my place of work. Um, but when I'm at home or like a weekend or something, I like something like this to just be able to throw on in the morning. Because I don't necessarily, not necessarily even going to do anything, but I want to be dressed and you don't want to be really, you know, when it's hot outside, you just want to be like almost like in pajamas. It's the equivalent of wearing leggings and a hoodie, but for summer. A night dress, isn't it? So I've picked up these cargo pants because I really want to, not cargo pants. Ella, you did that to me. <laughs> you call them cargo. Khaki is kind of where we were going, but actually camo. Um, I really, really want to find some that I like, but they're really like bulky. I'll try them on anyway. They're like quite a thick material. And then I've just found these ones. And this is exactly what I want. It's that kind of, what's the, the name for this material? I always want to say viscose and that's not right. Come on now, someone tell me. Um, that kind of material that creases really, really easily, but you can kind of, it's just, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. Super, super lightweight. I don't hate this. I wouldn't obviously wear it like, uh -huh, I don't know, maybe I would wear it as a swimsuit, but I like it. You know, if you were gonna wear something where you could see your um, bra and you wanted to be a little bit more covered up, I like this sparkly bra. You know, it's a swimsuit, but I have been known to wear like actual full body swimsuits, like underneath things. I don't know, maybe it's just me. These are in the sale as well. I don't know why, there's nothing anywhere saying any, oh, you mean this 25% off logo that I didn't see? There's nothing, there's nothing anywhere. I think, oh yeah, it's just there. So 25% off all these dresses. I really, really like this style of dress. They've got one in orange as well. Um, which one do I try on? Oh my God, there's a khaki one. Oh my God. But the orange one, the orange, oh, the rust kind of color. <gasps> these are really nice. They're very, very, lightweight too they've got kind of like nothing to them at all um but kind of like a a nice evening dress for summertime Ooh, speaking of i like that one too so i'd seen some dresses that were like silky i saw rachel stevens wearing one on instagram a few weeks ago and i'm looking for it now these two this is really cute. I really, really like this one. This is, again, a very, very similar thing to what I was saying before, like you can just kind of throw it on easy to wear, but kind of like the midi dress. It's all very, I don't know, sound of music -y. Oh, this is, I really like the flowers. I'm not a floral person. I think this is the dress. I think this is the Rachel Stevens dress. I must try this on. It's got like a flamenco skirt. Something about this. There's really just nothing redeemable for me about these. They're like 
No. Just no. I no. I don't even think I would have lied to these like 10, 15 years ago when I was wearing stuff like this. Oh, this by the way. It's Father's Day. <laughs> it's not it's not get that twisted. Um I've not been like splurging myself. So yeah, not not into these. I just don't like the material and I don't love the paper bag waist. But I'm very hopeful for the next pair. I think I would wear this. Oh, there is a tie to be tied. I'm just tucked that in. I think that I would wear this outfit together. Like a little crop top and these. They've got, they're still, you know, not the most flattering shape for me in the world. But I think that the fact that they're adding no bulk, I really like. Um, I just, I, mean, I do kind of feel like genie in a bottle style vibes from these trousers but they're really lightweight and same as I was saying with the dresses, it's kind of when you are dealing with the heat wave, which I'm still, fingers crossed, um, and I'll be the first one to complain about it when it hits, but when you are dealing with kind of those warmer days, it's nice to have something that you can throw on that doesn't really add anything in, the, in terms of heat. You're just kind of comfortable. And these would be perfect. They did a few different patterns, I think, but I think I might get these, they're only 15.99. I don't know, I do always kind of come back to like, ah. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, but I don't think, I think they are relatively flattering, actually. I don't like this at all. Number one, just from this, do you think I look pregnant? It kind of almost like gives me a bump. No, I'm <laughs> not into it at all. And with this, okay, so are my boobs supposed to be here? Like, is this supposed to be the bit where your boobs end? And then it's like Empire Waist. This fully then makes me feel like this is like a pregnancy smock dress. Or is it supposed to be higher and you're supposed to be below this? In which case then I'm getting full on like maternity nightgown vibes. Do not understand. Perhaps this is for like waifs. I actually really like this. The problem I've got is the top. So it fits really nicely. Everything I've tried on has been a 12 and I am a 12 pretty much everywhere. This is like twisted. I feel like it's not fitting on my bust in the way that I would want to. Like it's kind of gaping up here. If I pull it down, it doesn't look quite right. This may be my short torso thing, but I couldn't wear a bra with that. It's like really pulling here. Like it's like tight across here. It's a really strange, I think if you were like busty, because I'm just like a C and a 12, it's, if you were busty, you'd have no chance because this is pulling at me like here constantly. And if I was to like lean in a certain, this is not attractive. Right now, it's real disappointment because otherwise I love the dress, it's gorgeous. And I think that in theory, but perhaps if you've got a long torso, smaller bust, it might be just perfect. It's not perfect for me. This I really, really like. Gorgeous. Like I have no reason to wear this. I have no event to go to. I don't go out. But I really, really want this. It's beautiful. It hangs so nicely. Again, even this section, which is usually the section that I'm like, ugh, I don't even mind. I think that everything is kind of just like draped nicely. It is very, very pretty. Again, they did this in a bunch of different colors. I saw this on their Instagram um, initially, and they just kind of posted like straight pictures of it, but I hadn't seen it on anyone. And I think it is a really nice dress. I even love this colour as well. This is really pretty. I like the material. It's very kind of like swooshy. I like the neckline. Um, everything about it, it's like got that kind of gathered section at the back so there's no zip. It's just a pull-on dress, a very, very nice holiday dress. It's got kind of like a real dirty dancing feel to it. I don't know, but you can fully see my nipples through it. Like, this section here is double lined. It's got an extra bit of lining. And I think that makes it even more obvious. It's almost like they're framed. I don't think this color is conducive with not wearing a bra. And yet the actual material of the dress, I feel like it almost, it would be difficult to find something that fit exactly right with how low this is, like exactly where this hits. It has to be a nude bra. Are you back into headbands yet? I never really liked headbands because they give me a headache. Although I have a headache just from being in that changing room. It's not the most pleasant changing room experience because it's basically just a bunch of screaming kids in the new look in Medwell on a Saturday. Oh, well, these are cute. I like those. Oh my God, what have I just seen? I mean, I know I just told you that I've got nowhere to go. But this skirt is everything. <laughs> in my size. It feels meant to be. Could I just like wear this around the house, do you think? This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look how it sparkles. Look how it glimmers. 
It's like a mermaid skirt. There's a lot of this style of bag recently and I really like it. I think it's like overdue that this, like where you can um, loop the chain, I've talked about this so much, when you can loop the chain and make it longer or shorter, it's overdue on the high street. It's the kind of thing that was a bizarre thing to only be able to get from our high end or a designer brand. You just never saw things like this. But I really, really like this. I mean, it's a very simple idea, isn't it? We never ever used to see this. Straw bags apparently seem to be still very in, like all the basket -y things. Uh, here to stay. I really like the one I got from Matalan. I don't think that I need another one. But these, you know, these little fasty ones, the round ones, where you open them up and they're like, they've got a little material on the side. Every time I see them, I'm like, I like it a little bit more. This I will never understand. I mean, number one, this one looks like it's made out of like those craft sticks. Also, how do you hold things in it? Like anything could fall out of it, like a little bit. Just, I don't know, but small gaps, but still. If you have like a pencil, like a lip liner, whatever. I don't, I don't understand. I really am liking this kind of style of, you know, this like crop top style of swimsuit top I really like. I like the belted swimsuit on some people, but for me, it is not flattering. Just kind of like adds a, a ridge where I don't want one. We'll go and have a little look at the shoes. Hidden curve section, this little tiny bit upstairs you wouldn't even know was here. I don't know why they don't at least advertise that the curve section is upstairs. I haven't seen, I mean, I also didn't see that 25% off, so maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen like, go upstairs for this, not heavily advertised which is absolute madness. It's taking up space in the store. This is a wanted area. This is a wanted category. It should be better advertised that all you need to do is go upstairs. Surely, more people that shop from this section, the bigger the section will get, the more accessible these clothes will be. They're not really even trying. Well, I just pointed out that as I was walking around, I was like, this is curves, this is curves. This is actually the maternity to hold back section. So apparently curves and maternity are the same thing now. For sale. So I was wondering where all the swimwear was. I don't get it. Why is all the swimwear in the sale already? It's still so early in the year. I know it's not summer, but I really like this. And it's only 12 pounds. This is nice. I like these yellowy patterns. I've actually just ordered a new like cottony kimono for summer from eBay for like 12 pounds. Shan't be buying one of those. Oh, they're giving a major Victoria's Secret vibe in the entrance to the lingerie section. Massively so. And then you kind of move ever so slightly into it and you're like, okay, no, not all. But just a little bit. I'm a big fan of yellow anyway. I don't really like this shape of heel, but taking that out, and also the square toe. These are very 90 things that I am yet to accept as trends. But I really like the style of the shoe. I really love that color in suede. How much are they? $54.99? Okay, I don't like them that much. So I got a pair of sandals from, um, I think it was Office a couple of years ago, and they were very, very similar to this. Most comfortable sandals ever, because they've got this um, elastic. It's just, I can't, I can't tell you enough. If you find sandals and just like summer footwear really uncomfortable, just go for all elastic. They don't even have to be like super obvious orthopedic looking shoes, but they can be very comfortable. Also this kind of thing I really like, it's all, um, I'm gonna say it is leather, it looks like it's leather. I don't know, maybe it's not, it hasn't got a thing that says it is. If it's not, maybe not, because it's not gonna wear and get soft, but I do like this style for uh, when they are real leather and they get super, super soft and comfortable over time. They've got a lot of sandals. See, the sandals aren't in the sale. They understand that it is still summer and still buy things full price. There were some just like this, I'm sure, this kind of style when we were doing the Tesco shop with me. Oh, I love the sparkle. And I think that is gonna wrap up. I'm now kind of looking for any insignia that tells me the plus size section is upstairs. I don't think it is then. Um, I think that's gonna wrap up for today. I am gonna go and find the boys who have been looking for Pokemon cards um, and go and get a coffee. I have a serious headache. I, I feel like every time I go into the New York, New, New York, to the New Look changing room, I have a headache. Is that just me? Is it something about the lighting? I mean the noise, but this is one of the noisier shops. It's because it's for the youth. It's for the younger people, isn't it? They're like more, ooh, what does that say? Do we like these? Is this a thing? It says feelings. I think I'm too old for this. I really like a lot of stuff in New Look, but it's definitely, like the shop itself is definitely aimed at a younger generation which is sucked because I really like the clothes that they've got. I think I would prefer to shop online. Um, I'm gonna be going to a bunch of different shops, but New Look was the top. 
that I haven't done yet, let me know if I haven't visited the one that you would like me to yet. And I will, I will add it to my list. We do this every single Sunday. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to watch the other ones that come up every single week. And I will see you guys then.